clean ocean water from below my water line is here at the through hole ready to be sucked in to begin the process. That clean ocean water from outside now comes up through the through hole under here to a diverter valve. This diverter valve now brings the seawater around and through a sea strainer. This will strain the raw seawater and get out any debris as it's now clean enough to flow through a boost pump. This boost pump must be below the water line and this will give pressure to the rest of the system. We'll follow this line up through the wall, up all the way under and into here. Goes through a one-way check valve going into my two pre-filters, a 20 micron and then a five micron filter. Once it goes through that, we'll see this little pressure gauge here, which will let us know that it is correctly feeding the right amount of water into the system. Now that the raw ocean water has been cleaned enough, it'll come down through here, around and feed into the main pump. This pump is a rather large one horsepower AC motor, although they also come in DC motors as well. This will pressurize the system up to 700 PSI, the required amount. Going through this high pressure line, it then enters the membrane on this side, pressurizing the outside of the membrane with seawater. The water that does go through will be purified fresh water, not allowing the salt to go through the membrane. As it passes through on this side, we get the collection of the different waters. The brine water will go out this way and be ejected out the boat. The product water will come up this way and go through this system. This setup over here is very important. This is what you use to adjust the amount of pressure and you want your PSI again to be up at 700. This gauge will then tell us how much product water or fresh water is coming out through the system. This monitor that is attached to that will tell us how many parts per million are on there. The beginning of the product water comes through here to this diverter valve. Before the water reaches the correct amount of parts per million and still has some salinity to it, it will go out here and follow the discharge of the brine water. Once the water is pure enough, this switch will now be flipped and this water will go directly back into the tanks. That's it. That's how fresh water is made with a Seawater Pro water maker. There are a couple of the functions that the water maker can do. In order to keep the membrane clean, you cannot just run it and then leave it indefinitely. You have a couple of options. First off, you could run it every other day, up to every third day. That will push through any potential growth, keeping the membrane and your pre-filters clean. Second, you can run your own purified water through the whole system, killing anything in here that would be living in the salt water. And third, you can make a pickling solution that will go through all of your system and just like the name suggests, it will pickle it, ensuring that no life can grow inside there. A pickled water maker can be stored effectively indefinitely. A water maker that has its fresh water run through it can be stored approximately a week. And a non-cleaned water maker needs to be run every other to every third day to ensure there's no growth and doesn't harm the system. Another option to make fresh water is if you're at a marina, but you don't want to actually suck up and use the seawater that's around you or move your boat, you attach one of these into the system, a carbon filter from the hose provided at the marina. This will remove things like chlorine that would be detrimental to the system. You would plug it into here, and this then would go with a push to connect, quick connect PEX pipe. That quick to connect would then go right here into another one way. It would not be able to go down because of this other one way, and they would then be running the purified water through your pre-filters like before, getting it to the correct PSI, feeding it to the boost pump, going through the membrane, and giving you your product water just like you would normally. Following this diagram instructions from Seawater Pro, you can see just how easy the system is. Raw water comes in from the ocean, goes through a sea strainer so it doesn't clog up your boost pump. Boost pump, which is below your water line because it is not self-priming, will then go through this, this one-way valve here, going into your two different pre-filters. You'll then see you're at the right PSI that can feed into your main pump. This main pump will then pressurize the system up to 700 PSI, going into the system here. This membrane that is doing the actual work of separating the salt water with the fresh water will literally filter out the seawater. That's all it's doing. Salt water passes over the outside and any pressurized water that can, which becomes your fresh water, makes it through into the center. The two different waters, your product water and the brine water, are then separated here at the end. Brine water going overboard being discharged. Fresh water, once it's ready from the T-valve, will then be diverted into your tanks. 
I hope you found this helpful as a quick run through of how simple and easy these Seawater Pro water makers are to use. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll see if I can help.